Dear listeners, you are now listening to the new Morania, the official radio station of the forces for the democratic liberation of Morania. Coming live from Madagascar, we invite you to listen to a speech from Colonel Siri, leader of the revolutionary forces for a new Morania. Dear compatriots, the despotic regime of the Butcher Rodin is coming to an end. Only the southern provinces still resist. It's only a matter of days now until the dictator Rodin will be obliged to abdicate his blood-stained throne. Already we see him powerless to counter-attack. His ministers and generals abandon him. The vile despot hides in the belly of the Black Vault. Compatriots, I say to you that we will find him. And tomorrow, justice will be done in Morania. Long live Moranian democracy! Hey there! Huh? Let me out of here. I, I wish to speak with your leader. Do you hear me? <sighs> Let me out, please. I've got nothing to do with this war. I... I'm a Swiss citizen. The boss will decide what to do with you. And he's much too busy at the moment to worry about you. Open this cage! Open it! It's in your best interest to shut that big mouth. Because it wouldn't take much for me to shut it up for good. Decided to set me free. About time to all the celebrations. So it's you who. Hello, rookie. I'm glad to see you alive. Excuse me. Do I know you, Conrad? Conrad Siri. Honestly, Malkia. Conrad Siri. No. Honestly, not. So you're the one leading this revolution? You could put it like that, Malkia. So today, then, is your day of victory, I would guess. No doubt, Malkia. It's only a matter of days. But there are still pockets loyal to Rodin all over the country. I'm having a few problems remembering. So I'm kind of obliged to believe what people are telling me about myself. I understand. However, we are old acquaintances, Malkia. Geneva. Try to remember. I only remember the university gardens. Nothing else. In Geneva, we planned this whole revolution together. We called our movement Numerania. Don't you remember? Remember the interminable discussions about the democratic future of the country? They say I was this king's daughter. That's crazy. You are Rodin's daughter, Malkia. Rodin's no longer a good king, is that it? Rodin is a monster, Malkia. Have you forgotten? My father. He's over there, in that... in that boat? That boat is the Black Vault. Rodin's fortress. That is where you spent your childhood, most likely. Before they took you to Geneva. And... Rodin... Is this the end for him? Yes. But I need you. I have something to ask you. What do you want to ask me, Siri? I have nothing to do with this revolution. I... I want to return to Geneva. I want to go home. You have already returned, Malkia. This is your home. Right here. Siri, what are you leading up to? The revolution has gone perfectly to plan up to now. It's in everyone's interest that we finish it quickly, without needless bloodshed. Go to Rodon and tell him it's over. Tell him to give himself up. You want me to deliver you the king? What? I don't even know him. My name... My name is Anne Smith. I want to save time and lives. I promise him nothing. Nokia, I want him to officially abdicate power so that this war can be over as soon as possible. Only his own daughter could convince him of that. What do I have to do, Siri? First, you need to get onto the boat and put a stop to those drums. Hmm. You have a problem with the drums, Colonel Siri? Yes, my soldiers are a superstitious bunch. 
They believe that Rodon is possessed of supernatural powers. As long as the funeral drums can be heard, they'll refuse to attack that cursed boat. And so you want me to stop the drums, is that it? Yes, as soon as possible. Then my men will surround the Black Vault. So, you want me to enter the Black Vault, stop the drums, and then you want me to persuade Rodan to surrender? Yes, exactly that, Malkia. I'll do what you ask, Siri. Goodbye. Take this radio, Malkia, so we can stay in touch, you and I. Careful, these thorns are sharp. I wanted to ask... Why is this man still a prisoner? Wamganga is the chief of the Bulus. He is guilty of many crimes. Why don't you attack the Black Vault straight away? Get it over with. Because it's the Black Vault. Nobody wants to go on board. Rodan is still very powerful. It's too dangerous. Rodan's alone on his boat. He sent all his soldiers packing. What are you waiting for? Why don't you attack? I don't want to go on the Black Vault, miss. Never. He seems scared. It's the drums. Everybody's scared of Rodan's drums. They are cursed. It looks as though the revolutionaries have won the war. Yeah, maybe so. I just want to get home. War stinks. I have to speak to the prisoner. Let me through. Get lost. If you refuse to let me pass, I'll be obliged to inform Colonel Siri. Okay, okay, okay. So, see you later. Yes. Hello? Malkia! So, you're not dead. Do I know you? You are the daughter of the king. The woman that leads the leopard. We are both prisoners. Who are you? Wamganga. I am doctor to Rodan, the king. Why are they holding us prisoner here? It's a war. These soldiers can kill us or free us. What's going on here? Mm. The rebels arrived a few hours ago. 
They're preparing to assault the Black Vault. All these ruins. Where are we, Wamganga? The Bulus lived here. But the rebels have torn down our village to set up their camp. Who are the Bulus? I am a Bulu. We were the most fanatically loyal of all of Rodin's peoples, his personal guards. For many years, the Bulus were the iron fist of the king's deranged rule. Ever ready to spill our blood for him, I must confess we spilled the blood of a great many innocents in his service. But all the same, Rodin chased us from his hearth like stray dogs. Why did the king dismiss you, Wamganga? He thought you dead, at the bottom of the mine in Zamarat. He accused us of failing to protect you. How is he, then, Rodin? I don't know. He's barricaded himself in his quarters. He will see no one. So, the rebels have won the war, then? So it seems. They control all of the country now. Wamganga, do you know how I can get on board the Black Vault? Search, Malkia. There must be a weakness somewhere in that rusty old fortress. Siri, the leader of the rebels, has asked me to convince the king to surrender. Conrad Siri doesn't know his enemy. What are those drums? They are the funereal tom-toms of the Black Vault. Goodbye. Mm hmm, Malkia. Oh, there's no getting past that snake. Wamganga, there's a monstrous snake blocking the way into the interior of the Black Vault. Help me get out of here, Malkia. I will take care of the snake. How can I help you, Wamganga? I'll need the stem of a reed and the thorn of a giant bramble. Goodbye. Mm, Malkia.
stress flare. There's too many monkeys, I can't get to it. dangerous. There are electric cables hanging in the water.
are here, Malkia. I need your help. Wanganga? But how on earth did you get here? I am Wanganga, the sorcerer. How can I help you, Wanganga? In the treasure room. There is a small statuette I would like to recover. Then why don't you go and take the statuette yourself? This room is forbidden to the Bulu. I cannot enter there. Where is the treasure room? Just behind the archives, over there. Okay, I'll see if I can bring this object back for you. I will be eternally grateful to you, Malkia. It depicts the Bulus. Whoever owns the statue possesses a great power over my people. Times are troubled, and I would not want for it to fall into the wrong hands. Wonganga, there are these nasty little monkeys crawling all over the place. It's like they've invaded the boat. In Morania, a cockroach monkey hanging from a branch near a house is a sure sign that death will be visiting the household. Cockroach monkeys are drawn by the odor of death. They have come to this boat in their hundreds. So, how do you explain that there are so many monkeys? The death of an era, Malkia. Goodbye. Hmm, Malkia. Hello, my name is um, Malkia. May I speak to you? Malkia Rodenkram. Only daughter of His Majesty King Rodon IV, born November 25th, 1927, of Moranian nationality, and Karen Crown, of French nationality, and currently residing in Geneva, 5K de l'Horloge. Born the... The... yes, no doubt. Uh, yes, th that's right. <laughs> It gives me great satisfaction to see you alive, Miss Rodenkrown. My name is Rudolf Kretzelburg. I am responsible for the administration of the estate of His Majesty King Roden, and in consequence of the whole of Morania. You're some kind of b banker? I have been for some 20 years mandated by the Zurich Bank of Africa to administer the visa and therefore here in person the assets and holdings of your father, miss. What's in these files? Everything is inventoried, miss. The tax returns of all this country's subjects, their bank accounts, commercial transactions and contracts, offshore accounts and overseas holdings, etc. To name but a few examples. In short, everything that concerns the riches of Morania. And, by extrapolation, the fortune of His Majesty. Could I take a look at this paperwork, Mr. Gretzelberg? No, absolutely not. These documents are strictly confidential. A kind of intimate confession made by His Majesty to the Zurich Bank of Africa. You understand? Mr. Gretzelberg, did you know there was a sorcerer meditating in front of the door to your office? I detest these savages. The Bulos above all. These are people that simply cannot be trusted. Very dangerous. Even if I am forced to recognize their talent, for wrapping the knuckles of the hordes of debtors in this kingdom. What could they have done to you for you to hate the Bulu so much? Brutal thugs, suited only to the most repugnant of his majesty's tasks. Killers, waiting on their master's orders to visit unimaginable acts of violence on the terrorized population. I heard they had all been sent packing, and not before time, believe me. Do you know the king well? 
I know his accounts, miss. Which is to say, I know his soul. <laughs> where is he? Where's Rodin hiding? Some place where nothing escapes his eyes and ears, miss. Lurking, hiding, listening to the crackling of the hull as it buries itself deeper and deeper into the marsh. You're not from here, Mr. Gretzelberg. Ah, uh, it's been far too long. They must have forgotten all about me back in Zurich. What a pathetic waste to end my career out here in this wasteland of savages and ferocious beasts. And I... To think that I could be working for the King of Norway at this very moment. Hmm. You don't seem very happy with your fate, Mr. Gretzelberg. Oh, but of course not. The climate is insalubrious. The putrid air we breathe is filled with a thousand different contagions that devour you from the inside out, from breakfast to supper, Miss Roden Crown. I've heard there's a treasure room on this boat. Do you know where I can find it? No. I haven't the slightest idea of what you are talking about, miss. Quite honestly. And supposing I were to have some information about what you speak of, it would naturally be subject to the rules of confidentiality. The boat seems like it's been invaded by little green monkeys, Mr. Gretzelberg. Ah, so you noticed that too. They're all over the place, devouring everything, even my files. <coughs> They're worse than rats. At least rats have the good grace to abandon a sinking ship. Not so these monkeys, miss. Mm, I have to go. Siri. What? Are you screwing with me, Melchia? I need your help, Siri. I need you to pass yourself off as the head of personnel at the Zurich Bank of Africa. I want you to announce to Roden's banker that his transfer to Norway has been accepted. Okay. Got it, Melchia. But I'm more... Just do as I say, Siri. His number is 0041-0248-3016. the treasure of Morania. A bunch of voodoo dolls to bewitch the population. It's creepy. Ooh, this mask gives me the creeps.
Rose Trail. Hear me knocking with this racket. But it's my childhood bedroom. Nothing's changed since I left it. Hey, it's the doll I had when I was a kid. dangerous. the sky to see. Hmm. Hey, Lucky. He's hurt pretty bad. Could you do anything for him? Help me, and I will help you. Onganga, you have to do something for my leopard. Hmm. I might be able to get his strength up a bit. You must do as I say, Mount. Goodbye. Hmm. There's no reason to give him that. In this circle, trace the abyss at the foundation. Circle, trace the earth in the middle, all around the middle. The spirits that are angry at Rodan will help us. Bring the effigies of these spirits. A healer spirit. Spirit of nature and an emissary to God. 
place the emissary of the gods so that he may speak into the abyss. Place the spirit of nature to the east of the earth so that the sun may shine. Place the healing spirit to the west of the earth to prevent the night from stealing your leopard away. Now we need your effigy so that you can give something of yourself to the leopard. Place it in the sky. I wanted to ask... Yeah. It's finished. Now we will also need morphine, and then disinfectant and bandages. At the military dispensary. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Now I need some quiet to take care of the leopard. Do not disturb me.
Hey, look at this animal. Hmm, that's a good exchange.
Mafia! Hey! So, you're not dead. Oh, now that is good news. Do I know you? Willy Van Denaar! The King's right hand man! Loyal service to this kingdom of trinkets and baubles for over 30 years, Miss Mafia. I knew you when you were me, I knew a grasshopper. You used to bounce you up. I don't remember. Sorry. And then there was your mother. I knew her well. A beautiful woman, the truth be told. Real classy. Yeah, she didn't much like this country. Too many mosquitoes, too much food. So much everything. So, you knew my mother? Oh, yes, miss. Yes, I did. You knew her well. You know, if she hadn't taken off like that in the night with you under her arm, then good King Roden would never have got rotten. He'd still be the good old debonair we knew before. I don't remember any of them. Let me tell you something, my girl. I reckon that you find it mighty handy sometimes not to remember. They told me you'd even brought that bloody black leopard with you. Now that had that ain't no coincidence, huh? Huh? I don't understand. Why are you talking about my leopard? It was your father gave you that leopard 15 years ago. We killed the mother when we were out hunting. Nah. Just a little ball of black fur. Played with him like he was a kitten. Should have seen that. <laughs> Your mother didn't like it, though. You know, the thing was just a kitten. But, you know, baby leopards, they get bigger. Tell me the rest of the story about the leopard. Oh, one day you must have pulled his whiskers and touched too hard. And that blasted leopard forgot he was some kind of adorable kitten. It was then gave you that nasty scar on your shoulder. Well, got you wide open so your mother seizes the opportunity, shoves you in her suitcase, and takes off for Switzerland and civilization. It's the Prince of Madagon that gave me that leopard. After you were injured, it ran off into the wild. <laughs> Must have had a bad conscience. We never heard about it again. What happened at Zamorat? The innocent people that died, the place in flames. We thought you were dead. The people of Zamorat were responsible. What you did in Zamorat doesn't even have a name, Vandemard. You're a butcher. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. But it's all over now, Malcolm. You stop the Tom Tom drums. The rebels are coming. You don't have much time to see your father. Where is my father? His Majesty is barricaded in his quarters. Now, go, Malcolm. Leave me alone.
true? No. I'm happy you're here, princess. I'm not your princess. I... My name is Anne Smith. Yes, of course. Come. No. How do you know? No, I don't think... My name is Anne Smith. It's good to have you back, Nadia. When your mother took you, nothing here was the same. She'd come to hate this country. Probably she'd never loved it. After. Why have you come back, Princess? My name's Anne Smith. I take you to see the animals along the river. Do you remember that? We leave the boat. We climb on my back. And off and on, the two of us. And how you love the little brown gazelles always on their guard. No. They seem to dance along the river. No! My name is Anne Smith! I've come home to kill you, Father! I prefer that it's you. Hug your father. 